All right, Shalom. Shalom. We are the brothers from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp. And before we begin this lesson, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. And also, we want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring in his work in all truth and his sincerity. We want to say Shalom to you, brothers. And also, we want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are believing and that serving the Lord to the best of their ability. We want to say Shalom. And Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. And Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shah is the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this world eagerly called Jesus and the Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit. All right, and uh, you know, I'm gonna let the brother you want to take it over from here. Hey, Shalom, man. The title, <clears throat> excuse me, of this <laughs> lesson is going to be To Whom uh, Much Is Given, Much Is Required, right? Because when Yahweh Shah, you know, comes to collect, he's going to come to collect from his servants, his men that he gave money to. And the money is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that has been given, all right? So we have to multiply our talents, all right? We have to multiply um, Yahweh Shemal Shah's money, man. All right, so meaning that we have to do the work, all right, because we have been given this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We have been given Yahweh Bashmah Shah's money, man. So it's going to be required of us at the end, all right? <clears throat> Can I open up with this precept? Go ahead, brother. All right. Because yeah, uh, the brother said, you know, we're going to be judged. You know, what did you say? We're going to be judged um, uh, based off our works, pretty come, much. Come. Come. Yahweh Bashmah Shah is going to come collect, Yep. you know? Yep. And uh, when when the most when when Yahweh Shai comes back, all right, who's he going to judge? He's going to judge the nation of Israel, and that's why in First Peter four seventeen it said he's going to begin at the house of the Most High. That's all right, right. and uh, Psalms one forty nine and, and nineteen says he showed his word unto Jacob. Mm -hmm. So Yahweh Shai he's coming to judge the nation of Israel. Okay, and this is right. um, Ecclesiastes twelve, and I'm gonna start at thirteen, and it reads, "Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh." See, and that's that's our duty. We are supposed to fear Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Okay, right. and how do we show our fear? All right, because we fear is goes back to reverence and honor. All right, and, and show respect. So we supposed to fear Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, and it says to keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. This is our purpose. This is why we here on the earth. Uh, you so called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans mm -hmm. to serve Yahweh Bashem Al Shai and to praise Him. Mm -hmm. All right, to have no other God before Him. Mm -hmm. All right, verse fourteen is the point. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment, right. whether secret thing, whether it be good or whether for evil. Right. You see, so Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shai, all right, to judge the earth, okay, and judge the nation of Israel, you know, um, based on, you know, if you've been serving them, all right, if you've been keeping your law, such commandments, all right, have you been walking uprightly as Yahweh Shai? So we're going to be good, we're going to be judged, you know, whether it's for good works. See, and that's why we're storing up our treasures in heaven. That's right. See, that's why we make these lessons. That's why we go out to the highways and byways. Mm -hmm. That's why we make our body live in sacrifice. That's why we walk as an upright man in the, wish of, in the midst of this uh, wicked world. That's right. See, so if you've been doing the works of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you're going to be judged a righteous reward. The Lord mm -hmm. going to give you a crown of life, salvation. That's all right? right. Uh, uh, and, and if you've been doing wickedly, you're going to receive death. That's you right. see, and the Lord said he come... Not to send peace, but a sword. Come you know? on, I got a quick pre for you. Come on. This is Ecclesiasticus, <clears throat> chapter 11, verse 20. Uh, Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, chapter 11, verse 26. And it says, For it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death to award a man according to his ways. So backing up the brother, you know, if you have been sowing righteousness, that's what you're going to reap, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so... <clears throat> yep, Hebrews 6 and 10, you know, uh, the Lord says that he's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. So that's, that's right. why, you know, in this time period that we're in now, you know, it's important, you know, to be going hard for the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, um, striving to make a lesson each and every day, mm -hmm. you know, um, um, giving this all that you that you got, putting this first, all right, meditating on the laws day and night, that's you right. know, because like you always say, we only got one shot, we only got one shot. All right, at the kingdom of heaven. All right, to be mm -hmm. saved, you know. And you don't want to, you know, take this thing for granted. That's right, because you you, uh, you want to you want to strive to be the first fruits. Yep. But I want to get Zephaniah chapter one verse twelve, and the reason it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem, Jerusalem being the people for the plate, uh, 
being a people before a place. And it says with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. You see, you have men that are settled on their leaves, meaning that they're content with Babylon. Like the brother was going into, we have one shot to get this right. Mm -hmm. All right. And we have to do the work. All right. It's all about doing the work of Yahweh Bashmal Shah, man. Like, you know, making these lessons, man. Going out to camp, you know. Like the scripture said, whatever thy finest to do, do it with all thy might, right. man. Yep. Because we're going to get a reward, right? And um, can you get uh, Luke 19 and 13, Baba Gasha? Because we're going to get a reward for the things that we're doing right now. And it says. <clears throat> I'm going to read it again, Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. See, and that's the mindset, just like how it says in um, the book of Amos, all right, the fifth chapter one, two, that desire the day of the Lord, because what, what end shall it be for you? You got some individuals that don't think that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is gonna make good on his promise. That's why, like, like, like the scripture said, they're settled on their leaves, man. Meaning that they're content in Babylon. Yep. Uh, this is, I got the precept for you. This is Luke 19 and 13, and it reads, and he called his 10 servants and delivered them 10 pounds and said unto him, unto them, Salakia, Said unto them, occupy till I come. That's right, occupy, meaning that this work is an occup uh, occupation, all right? Meaning that this is our job. And when it says the 10 pounds is going into it is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of uh, of the scriptures, man. All right, you can keep going on that, brother. Oh, it's like it. Oh, you dropped it? Yeah, it kind of, no, no, I got you. All right, this is Luke 19 and verse uh, 14, and it reads, but his citizens hated him, and sent a and sent a message after him saying, "We we will not have this man to resign over us. I mean, reign over us. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him." Who slack it says it says um having re having received the kingdom, and this is speaking about Yahweh Shah because the heavenly Father Yahweh is gonna. Uh, establish his kingdom through his son mm -hmm. all right and that's why it's important that we be Yahweh Shah's elect Lord willing man that's why it's very important that we strive to be the first fruit because whatever Yahweh Shah gets he's gonna give it unto his service man mm -hmm. Keep going. Uh, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money that he might know how much every man have gained by trading Ooh. And the money is this wisdom, yep. all right. And the trading is what doing this work, all right. Um, uh, being good fruits, all right. And it, it all goes back into doing the work. So, lucky, yep. Verse um, 18, I mean, 16, and it reads, Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound have gained 10 pounds, meaning that he multiplied Yahweh Bashmal Shah's money. Yep. 17, and he said unto him, Well, thou good servant. Because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. You see? So meaning that this man was rewarded, this servant was rewarded because he did right by Yahweh Bashim al -Shaz. He did right. All right? Meaning that hey, there's going to be a time where Yahweh Shah is going to come to collect. All right? He's going to he's gonna collect and see what you have done with his money, man. Yep. And uh, I want to point, uh, I want to read this again. It says, because thou hast been faithful in a very little. Right. You see? And that's... Hey, this is step number one, mm -hmm. you know, to becoming a king, you know, to becoming a a, a, a ruler o over a city. You know, the right. Lord, we're gonna have, we're gonna be governing planets. We're gonna mm -hmm. be governing, you know, the law. You know, right. and that's so the Lord has given us, you know, something a little task right now. You know, if you if you can't handle this task right now, how in the kingdom you gonna be able to to rule over a nation? You know, if you if you don't have your household, if you don't have yourself under order and your household under order, you know, how are you gonna be able to? to to um to be a father to a nation of children you see it's more than just you know having sex with a woman and and, and having children you know right. you, you have children you got to know how to be a father you know you got to know how to be a husband mm -hmm. you know so the lord has given us a little task you know so you know that's that's like a building block that's you right. know what i'm saying because like that's beautiful that you said that because how about small size molding us and to become rulers. rulers and that yep. begins with what establishing you how about small size law man yep Yep. You know? Yep. Uh, verse 18 in the reads, And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound has gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, 
be thou also over five cities. You see, so hey, whatever I, whatever I find that, uh, what the scripture, whatever I find our hand to do, 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 do with all our mind might. because you're gonna get a reward for it, man. You know, whatever the portion Yahweh Bashmasha has given you. Um, it's a little bit left on there, Come but on. you had a quick pen? Uh, I was gonna get that one. You, um, do with all that might. Come on. Proverbs 8 and 13. God, it's all right. I thought I... Yeah. Oh, you said Proverbs? Nah, I know it's in Ecclesiastes. But, um, do it with all thy might. Come on, take your turn on that. Oh, come on. Uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. Oh, come on. Call it up. Call it up. All right, I'll read that. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10. And it reads, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with all thy might. Ooh. For there is no work, nor de nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. You know, Ooh. so that's basically saying we, we only got, you, you only can do, you only can, you know, serve the Lord when, when, when you're alive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Lord says he's a He's the God of the living, that's you right. know, not of the dead. So mm -hmm. we living right now, you know? So we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be doing the best that we can, you know, giving the Lord, you know, all that we got, you know, putting, mm -hmm. putting your best leg forward, you know? That's right. Yep. Uh, going back to Luke chapter 19 and verse uh, t 20. And it reads, and another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou laidest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. Mm -hmm. And he said unto him, out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Ooh, you see? So, hey, <clears throat> like the scripture's going into, man. Your how about some outside is going to come collect, man. You know, so you have to be doing this work because, you know, the scriptures goes into how they, um, you know, there was a time when they all be, when they all came to, uh, when they all came with consent, with excuses. You see, we see that right now. You have men making excuses why they're not doing the work. So you have my shot. But in that time, he's not going to want to hear that. Right. Because it says, thou knowest that I was an austere man. All right. So you have shot is going to come to collect, man. And if you have been given this truth, hey, that means that you, hey, you have to be on a level, man. Man. All right. Yep. Uh, that was it. Con, that was that was it on that. Con, I got a precept. This is uh Second Peter chapter one, and I'm gonna start at four, and it reads. Um, actually, Con, I start at three. Second Peter's one and three, according as his divine power have given a, given unto all things that pertaineth unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him. That have called us to the glory and virtue, you know. So Yahweh Shai called us, you know, into this truth. All right, this marvelous light. Right. Verse four, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. You see, in these these scriptures is full of, you know, uh, promises, precious promise. You know, if we endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Right. You know, so this these scriptures is is uh, nothing full of promises. Okay, and it says that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust, you know, and the Lord had mercy on us, you know, because hey, we, we wasn't worthy of uh, mercy, right. you know, hey, but the Lord says he predestinated, you know, certain individuals to get this truth, all right, right. to repent, all right, and come out of uh, that corrupt state. That's right. Verse five, and besides this, giving all diligence, add, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge and to knowledge temperance and to temperance patience and to patience godliness you know so these are the, these are the uh attributes that the lord you know he's um he's molding us into be that's right okay and it says um temperance you know temperance goes back to discipline mm -hmm. and you got to have discipline you know in this truth that's right. you know certain you, you got we got to um keep the sabbath mm -hmm. you know we can't eat we can't eat abominable foods you know we can't deal with other men's wives so it takes a certain of temperance you know, discipline. That's right. All right. It says, verse seven, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. For if these things be in you and abound, the they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful. You know, barren is going back to, 
to um um not producing right you know so uh, if you are bearing in this truth that means you have no works you right. know you 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 uh you really cold right. okay it says neither barren nor unfruitful you know and it says in the knowledge of our lord yahushua mashiach but he that lack of these things is blind mm -hmm. yeah so you know if you're not diligent in this truth you know what i'm saying if you if you uh going half ass in this truth and hey, you blinded right. you know what i'm saying because the scripture says be fervent you know, be on fire. That's right. And right. Shalak, you go yep. back to what you were saying with uh, Baron. If <clears throat> if you're not, you know, being fruitful, if if you're not growing, that means you're not part of the elect. That's yep. what uh, uh, the apostles always going into, man. The elect is always going to keep growing. They always going to keep doing the work. See how Bashmal Shai said, you know that it, there's nothing that can separate, you know, the men of Yahweh Bashmal Shai from serving them. I believe that's Romans the eighth chapter. Yep. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. To be not barren is really shameful, you know, because right. a woman if she can't, and in, in the ancient world, you know, if they didn't have children, that'd be a shameful thing. Right. You know, so if you unbarren in this truth, and that's a shameful thing as well. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord says, you know, you bring shame unto him. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it says. And cannot see far off, and has forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. You know. And so we gotta make our calling and election sure. Right. You know, because hey, we was in this world, you was going hard in this world. That's right. You know, and anything that you know, I put 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 my energy and effort to. You know, I'm I'm a I'm gonna put my best leg forward. That's right. You know, cause hey, niggas in the world they are they are work hard. You know, study for college. You know, they they take basketball and you know sports serious. But when it right. comes to the Lord, you know, you want to slow drag, man. You know, right. the Lord, you know, eventually gonna gonna speed you out of his mouth. That's right. So now being returned, seeking help by some shot ten, ten times, times more, more, man. You know, whatever you did in the world, that was vain. All right, this has a, a, a reward after. You see, many of our people look at things carnally and not looking at things steer, uh, spiritually. You know, you know, Lord willing, we're building churches in heaven. But I wanted to get Luke chapter 12, verse 40. And it says, "Ye be ye therefore ready also for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. And that's why, like the brother said, you know, going back to uh, what you said, darkness or, you know, them not having no light. Yep, yep. Or being blind, like yep, you were being saying, blind, yep. being blind. You know, we're ha we have to be ready, meaning sober, being vigilant. You know, always being prepared. In verse forty-one, it says, "Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us, or even to all?" And the Lord said, "Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over over his household?" To give them their portion of meat in due season, you see. So that's that's the lot that that's the lot that we want to aspire to be in, man. And Yahweh Shah is gonna make us rulers, like the brother said. We're being molded into rulers, man. All right. And those attributes come by doing this work, man. Serving Yahweh Shah. And verse forty-three says, "Blessed is that servant whom is blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh." Shall find so doing, doing what? Going back to doing this work, man. Watching for you, how it's shot. Because if you're watching, all right, meaning that you're praying, you're doing this work, you're trying to be accounted worthy in that time. You see, that's what we're trying to be. We want to be accounted worthy that we can stand before you, how it's shot, man. All right, in verse 44, and it says, Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he had. But, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayed his coming and shall begin to beat that man's servant and maiden and to eat and drink and to be drunk. And you see, going back to Zephaniah 1 and 12, all right, you know, men settled on their leaves. That's that same spirit. You don't want to be in that spirit, man. You know, thinking that the Lord would not do good nor evil. All right. You have something, brother? You, hear, you finish off of yours? You got all right, come on. Verse 46. I thought you had a priest. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, Luke chapter 12 verse 46 The Lord of that servant will come in a day When he looketh not for him And at an hour when he is not aware And will cut him in sunder And will appoint him his portion With the unbelievers That's right because hey, If, if you're not seeking Yahweh Shah daily If you're not looking upon the day of the Lord That means you're an unbeliever man All right in verse 47 it says And that servant which knew his Lord's will And prepared not himself neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes but he knew but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes for unto whom so much 
for whomso Shalakia, for unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required and to whom have committed much of him they will ask the more you see so and that's the point on that man yep. uh, i got one this revelation 2, two and 25 but that which ye have have already hold fast till i come that's right I'm supposed to hold fast into the truth all right, brother brought out occupy till I come. Mm -hmm. All right, keeping your hand on the plow. That's right. You know, that, that's 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 a part of holding fast. Holding fast until Yahweh by Shemel shall come. In verse 26, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. See, keep keep the Lord's works. All right? Because hey, we have to keep doing this until Yahweh shall comes. That's right. All right, and it says, to him will I give power over the nations, mm -hmm. and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter, Shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father? You know, and that's one of the promises that the Lord is going to give us that we're going to be ruling over these nations. All right, we're going to have that that new body. All right, a body you know that that can't sin. All right, right. an angelic uh, an angelic body. You know, but hey, this is got to keep the works until the end. That's you right. know, keep enduring. Mm -hmm. You know, that's right, brother. Uh, this is Luke chapter nine verse sixty two, and Yahweh Shah said unto him. No man have put in his hand to the plow, and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh Bashmal Shah. And, and what does that mean? That means that you're gonna have to taste that death on this side, man. All right, and that's something that, and we, and we're not trying to do. That's why, Lord willing, we're they doing this work, man. You know, so you had anything else, brother? All right. Hey, through the spirit of power, how about Shemal Shah? You know, we came with this lesson. You know, Lord willing, that is edifying. But brothers, you know, keep fighting. Yahweh Shah is on his way. To the next time, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakradash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and blessings and salutations to the to the hopeful elect. Till next time, Shalom, Ababa Ba, Kwame Ashala. Shalom. Shalom.